Hello and welcome to EuroPython 2018. So we made it again this year. <laughs> it was a lot of work. Uh, this year we're in Edinburgh, uh, obviously. It's almost as warm as in Rimini. The weather is at least as nice, so uh, I think we made a good choice. <laughs> so uh, we want to give a special welcome to all the new Europeanistas, so people who, who come here uh, for the first time. How many of you are here? Can you raise your hands, please? Wow, that's excellent. <laughs> So we, we'd like to ask the regulars who come here very often, because we have many, many regulars, uh, to, to help these new people integrate into the conference and feel comfortable and feel at home at the conference, because uh, we're all a big family, and, and this is a very nice event, and it basically lives by what you put into the event. We also want to welcome uh, our sponsors, of course, because without the sponsors, this would be almost impossible to do, just to give you an idea. The sponsors pay uh, for almost 200 euros per, for every single ticket on average that you buy for the conference. So the prices would go up a lot if we would not have these sponsors. So I think uh, we should give them a hand, a big hand. <laughs> and especially to Smarkets, which is our keystone sponsor this year. Uh, you can go down to Lennox Suite, the, where, where all the sponsor booths are. They have some nice things waiting for you there. So who is making all this happen? Well, it's actually a very small team that makes it happen, and we're all doing this in our free time. None of us get paid for this. Um, so it is a lot of work, and, um, of course we, and of course we would like to, we would like to have some recognition for that as well. So I'd like to ask all the volunteers up on the stage now. Hey, come on, guys. <laughs> OK, th this is a subset, as you can see. <laughs> I, think, I think they're still fighting with tickets downstairs. All oh, right, yes. People are still buying tickets very late. So you can see all these names here. All these people have helped really a lot in the conference. The, uh, the ones in red there, those are the board members of the EuroPython Society, the organization behind EuroPython. But we also had help from lots of other people, as you can see here. Uh, the team had 20 people in total. And uh, yeah, this is how we made it happen. The organization, as I said, behind this is the EuroPython Society. Uh, we used to run just EuroPython, but we have more recently uh, extended our mission to also help the Europe. European Python community. So if you run a conference, for example, then you can come to us and ask for grants for that conference. Uh, we're going to announce that a little, on a little larger scale after the conference, or maybe in the next few days. <clears throat> Again, it's all volunteer driven. You can join. You can help us if you want to participate in this. And uh, we would like to have more people join the EuroPython Society. We also have on-site volunteers who help a lot. You can recognize them by, uh, by the t-shirt color. So they wear these yellow t-shirts. Uh, you can sign up as volunteer as well. We have a volunteers app for that. You can go to the website, uh, to the volunteer section, and it has all the links. You can do session sharing, for example. You can help with, uh, well, can't help with setup anymore, but uh, you can help with teardown and everything else that we have to do throughout the conference. So we'd uh, appreciate some more help there. Um, a short hitchhiker's guide to EuroPython. These are basically the, the details that you have to know. Wi-Fi, I think you have already connected uh, to Wi-Fi. We only have 5G Wi-Fi. In some cases, people don't have 5G on their devices. In those cases, you can come to the conference desk and we can give you a separate uh, login for that. We have the conference app. Uh, this is an you need to download the Attendify app. And then you search for the code EuroPython 2018, and it should give you the, uh, the conference details. And then this app has all the schedules and everything. It's a very nice app. Hashtag, we use EuroPython. Uh, we would like to ask you not to use EP 2018, because there's a different event called Electric Picnic, which happens, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
which happens every year, and so every year they use EP 2018, so there's kind of a mix if you use EP 2018. Uh, we have a Telegram group, which uh, is working really nicely to connect uh, to each other. So it's, uh, the channel is called EuroPython. And then for everything else, you just go to the conference desk and we can help you. Something about the venue. The venue is, uh, is organized in, in different levels. Uh, the um, most important level for uh, like food and for coffee breaks is uh, in level minus two. This is all the way downstairs. Uh, this is in the Lenox suite. It's a huge hall that they have down there. Uh, we are currently at level three, and the other rooms are distributed between those levels. Uh, at, close to the conference desk, there is a, there's a plan. You can, you can uh, search for the rooms. Uh, there's something I want to mention. Uh, we have two sponsored rooms. One is the, uh, the Pentland Suite. This is where we're currently sitting in. Uh, this is sponsored by Smarkets, the Keystone sponsor. And then we also have... Um, the room Sidlaw, it's called by the venue. This is uh, sponsored by PyCharm. So those names are different than what you see in the venue as uh, signage. Um, then, of course, you have your bag, or at least you, you can pick it up downstairs if you haven't yet. Uh, you'll find a EuroPython bottle in there, again. They were so popular, we decided to have them again. Um, and, of course, you find lots of other things in there, like nice gadgets and uh, lots of information, coupon codes for your uh, O'Reilly, for example. Right. But you've all come here to not only grab a bag, but also to, to hear some nice talks. So we have a, a great lineup of keynotes. We have uh, David, Marco, Ines, Nicole, and Ian. Or Ian. I don't know how this is pronounced. Maybe Ian can tell me. Um, Ian it is, yeah? And uh, these are going to be very exciting, very interesting. Um, I think Marco is actually is, he's, uh, logging in from Antarctica. Yeah, so he's not physically here, but we'll have him via video link. We also have some other events. We ran a few events on the last two days, the training days. We had the Beginner's Day uh, workshop. We had a Django workshop for women. Uh, we had the training sessions. We also had a few sponsored training sessions that you were able to attend without the training passes. Um, what we're going to have during the conference is we're going to have uh, PyData tracks. Those are marked in the schedule. We'll have a recruitment session in case you want to are uh, looking for a new job. We have help desks. Help desk is something where you can go to a, to a desk that we set up in Linux Suite, and then there are certain projects there running help desk sessions. You can go there, ask questions, and get answers from experts. Uh, we have open space in two rooms. So if you want to self-organize and do a session, basically self-organize, um, then you can go downstairs to the large panel that we have next to the conference desk, next to the large uh, schedule that we have there. And you can, you can just uh, get a slot there and then run a session in one of these rooms. And of course, we have the poster session. Posters are going to be set up in Linux as well. And those are usually very interesting, too. So for the open spaces, how many of you do know, do know what an open space is? Not very many people. So, so the, the way that works is you go to the, to the, uh, to the grid that we have down there. You, you take one of these post-its. You write a, a session name on it. You post it into one of the slots. And then basically that slot is yours. And then you can do in that, in that room whatever you like. Of course, you have to respect the code of conduct. Um, and you can, you can have sessions. This may not be used for commercial presentations, but it's, for example, if you have like a, an open source project, that's perfectly fine to run a session there and do something ad hoc. You can also have discussions there, like you can do panels, whatever you like. This is up to you what you want to do there. Then we have lightning talks. How many of you know lightning talks? OK. So almost all of you. These are five-minute talks, very short. The content is completely up to you. Of course, it would help if it had something to do with Python. Um, you, can make it, you can make it funny. You can make it interesting. You can make it boring if you want to. Uh, this is also completely up to you. After five minutes, it's over. So the strain on the attendees is not too high. Uh, and again, this may not be used for commercial presentations. So please, no recruitment or anything in those. I mentioned the conference app. I hope you've all downloaded it. Uh, the schedule in there is the most up-to-date that we have. 
It also has lots of other information in there. It works offline, so you, if you don't have internet connectivity, you still can get and see the, the schedule. You can rate sessions. Uh, so they, there's this uh, the star bar in all, for all these sessions, so you can give ratings to those. Um, speakers are usually interested in getting these ratings afterwards, so we'll, we'll try to publish them this year. Uh, but of course, this will only work if enough people actually do the rating. So we'd like to ask you to use this feature. Um, social event. So usually at EuroPython conferences, we have uh, a social event. But this year, unfortunately, we don't, because we could not find a venue that could hold the number of people, like 500 people, uh, and, and then do a party there. So unfortunately, we, all we can do is we, we can just have an ad hoc session. Uh, we can all meet at the Edinburgh Grass Market, for example, which is it's a nice area, has plenty of pubs and restaurants, and then we can basically socialize there. I think that's the best that uh, we can do. You can wear your badge to show that you're a EuroPython attendee, and you can get in touch there. You can have a few beers, you can have some, some food. Uh, it's really close to the EICC, so you can easily work there. Then we have a quiet room. Quiet room is for people who want to relax a bit, who want to get off all the busy stuff that's going on here. Um, and uh, this is in room Tinto, which is on the ground floor. And then, of course, we have a code of conduct. So we'd like to ask you all to uh, basically adhere to this code of conduct. It's, the code of conduct is very, very simple. Uh, of course, this is just a, a short version. So essentially, be nice to each other, talk to each other, uh, communicate with each other. Uh, don't be intimidating. Don't be. Uh, don't run any harassment. Uh, the sponsors and ev everyone who's coming from a company, we'd like to ask to be professional. Don't spam. Uh, there's. You cannot run recruitment in, in, in at the conference without being a sponsor. If you want to. If you want to contact one of the people from the COC team, the COC team you see here on the right, so you see myself, I'm one of them. We have uh, Valeria, I don't know whether she's here. There she is, there's Valeria. Um, then we have Alexander who sits down here. And we have Sylvia, I don't know whether she's here. I saw her downstairs, yeah, there she is. So that's Sylvia. Uh, you can contact us directly in person. It's probably the best way to do it. Or you can contact us on, on Telegram or by email. Uh, it's probably best if you, if you cannot find one of us to go down to the conference desk and then ask. And then we can forward, uh, they can forward you to the right people. Right, then we have a few speaker guidelines. Very short. Uh, you should go to your session chair before your talk. You should check your notebook. Uh, please leave the adapters that we have for notebooks uh, at, the, at the desk so that uh, other people can use them as well. And very important, please upload your slides after your talk to the website. So you can log into the EuroPython website and there's a button there to upload your slides. Right, and that is it. Enjoy the conference.